Our other top story, an attempted carjacking and school lockdown. Also all new tonight, we're hearing from the man who's as a teenager pointed a gun to his head, demanding his car. Ken's 5's Alicia Neaves is live in the newsroom with how police say it all began. Alicia. An apartment complex sits catty corner from the school, and that's where someone first spotted the suspect. A resident who lives there says he saw a teenager sitting at a nearby picnic table and didn't think anything of it until he found him again minutes later near his car. That gun was big. That gun was big. Around 8.15 this morning, as Timothy Van Linder took his dogs for a walk at the Parker Apartment Homes off Fairdale Drive, he heard a strange noise near his car. So I turned around to see what it was, and then I had the gun pointed to my head. And he goes, give me your keys. I'm taking your car. He says it was the same teenage boy from the picnic table. I threw the keys down and said, um, okay, you want the car? Here's the keys. So hoping that he'd turn his back and pick up the keys, and that's when I jumped him. In the scuffle, Timothy said he tried to take away the gun. So he got to like this, and it's going all around like this, my body, my face and stuff. And I'm thinking, oh God, I'm gonna get shot. And then it goes off. No one was hit. Timothy says the suspect tried pulling the trigger again. When we were struggling, I had the gun. I kept hearing click, click, click. And I wonder why is he not shooting me? The suspect ran away. Timothy called 911. As he's making his way back to his car, he couldn't believe his eyes. And I see my car lights in reverse, and I realize he got the keys, he's taken my car. Timothy said he jumped through the car window. As the suspect hit him in the head with a gun, Timothy put the car in park, and the boy ran off again. And I see him, and I see him going up towards the school, and it's like, oh my God, this is an elementary school. Start heading over to East Hill Hills. I think maybe is in pursuit of a juvenile male that just ran across the school property. Apparently he tried robbing somebody. Still on the phone with dispatch, Timothy shares the suspect's every move until NEISD and San Antonio police caught him. The only thing I was worried about, the kids, the kids. So that's all I'm happy about. That's all I care about, that they weren't able to get into the school. And my God, you know what could happen. Timothy is going to be okay. He told us when he asked police about why the gun didn't go off again, police told him the bullet got jammed. The 14-year-old was arrested for robbery and unlawful carrying of a weapon. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Neaves, Ken's 5. What an account. Thanks so much, Alicia.